Now, if you're doing this at home, you're saying, well, what's my router? Where's my switch? Well, what you have is a, I think they call it a shrouder, right? I heard slang like that, shrouder. And that's a switch and a router together. And often you see something like Linksys or Netgears, and they'll have a place in there that says WAN. That stands for Wide Area Network or uh, Internet. So here is what some people call browser. Uh, it's a switch and a router together. And it's kind of cool. You use this in your home. Uh, if you look, it has, there's your switch. You got four ports there. And again, this is just for your home. Um, you know, let's say you have 10 outlets. It doesn't mean you, you have to have a, a, a switch that has uh, 10 inputs. You just plug in the outlets you plan to use. Um, and, uh, and right here you have your internet. It's called an internet at this point. Um, some places, some machines say it's a WAN. Um, rather than just a, an internet and it has little fancy lights on the front that blink and everything else and and a uh, little place you put in a power uh, outlet there so that's your that's your router um, switch router uh, all together and they're pretty good it's probably it also I think comes with a basic firewall and it's not a bad deal um, of course you use patch cords uh, when you're patching them together and these are pretty inexpensive devices and you can see that, you know, if you're going here to a uh, to your little patch panel, um, that's what you would need at your home. And um, you know, you just need a couple surface jacks. So you don't actually have to get too involved in that. But it's really nice if you patch them because then you can troubleshoot them. Uh, you can unplug them to see if that uh, that is the problem with that cabling in that area that's causing issues. Whatever. Uh, these don't tend to last very long, maybe five years, and you kind of have to replace them, but they're not that expensive. And there's different brands. You can get Netgear and some of the others, and they work pretty good, and they're very inexpensive. I like them. That's what I have in my house. Then, of course, if you're anywhere near a serious business, this is what you need. And this is a router. There you go. Um, you can always tell a router because with Cisco it has a switch on it. And if you look on here, on the back, it doesn't have a lot of outlets. It has very few. Of course, it has room for adding a lot. You can take these, these out and add them. And, um, but if you look it, it, on, on this one right here, it just has an input and an out. And these have to be programmed by a, by a technician who knows what he's doing. This uh, little thing right here in the blue, that's, that's how you program them. But, but remember, routers don't need a lot of inputs and outs uh, uh, because those, it only needs to go bridge from the um, LAN to the outside, uh, to the internet. And then, of course, switch, which is a lot lighter than a router. A lot going on in a router with uh, technology and all. Um, but this is a switch. Uh, the unique thing about this switch is, uh, is a uh, power over ethernet switch, which we haven't discussed in this video. We will in future videos. But here you can see um, that it has all these outlets here. Um, and this is a 24 port switch. And of course it also has these little um, ears at each end here that connect to um, a data rack. Uh, or something that holds it in place. So this is really what you use in a business. And this one is a high-end switch uh, that has power over Ethernet. Use it with your uh, uh, LAN, uh, your VoIP uh, phones, your uh, sometimes uh, access points uh, need uh, power. You can power them through a PoE switch. And again, same thing here. You would use uh, a patch cord uh, to connect everything together. Uh, it just goes in there and they're all standardized. And then of course the last thing, and this has absolutely no brains in it. It is a um, um, a patch panel. You connect all your wires here um, in the patch panel and and then of course and then they appear here and this is where you would plug in the other end of your uh, patch cords and then this would go to your your switch um, or you can also um, connect it to uh, the back of your uh, home um, router 
I actually seen businesses that use this. And then um, after it fails and they, there's a day without internet and uh, sometimes phone service and they wonder was it really worth a hundred dollars? They should have invested in something that was serious. Um, it's okay for home, uh, those little routers, but they're not great for business, business networks. Uh, buy yourself a router and a switch. Uh, professional commercial grade router and switch, not a something for home. Really, even though I'm showing you this logically, let me show you this uh, a little more the way it's actually cabled so you understand it. And let's say your office, your home, your office has square and you have windows or whatever in there and you have different rooms. I don't know, that's the best I can draw today. And uh, one of the symbols for, um, uh, for outlets on the wall is a triangle. And you know what's interesting because a triangle was used years ago to represent a telephone. And so that was a telephone representation, but now it's also used for showing outlets on a wall. And uh, a lot of times what we do is we'll say, let's say if someone's using traditional digital voice, not VoIP, but traditional digital voice, we will do um, 1V and maybe 2D for data. That's how many would go to that location. So you have these little triangles over the place, and usually they point to where the customer wants that jack to go. Boy, things have changed so much when I, since I first got involved. And uh, what happens is you usually have a, a room where all this equipment is kept, yeah, something like that. And the cables will all go there. We'll all go to that room. And what they'll go to is they'll start or, or they'll, they'll end up in a patch panel. And a patch panel is uh, just a, a little uh, device where all the cables terminate in the phone room. And then your switch looks a little bit like a patch panel. You can see that. Yep. Um, looks a little bit like a patch panel. And that's your switch. And usually you jump over with patch cords. And uh, that's how you connect them all together. So, you know, this is where your, your patch panel is. And then your switch is usually right next to it. And then a lot of times your router will be in the same area and it will go like this. Thank you for watching my video. If you have questions, just email us. Uh, ask in the comments section, but I really appreciate when you all watch my videos and, and um, I'm, I'm glad I can help you understand this better. Uh, this is just a rough overview of um, a, a introduction to networking, uh, talking about uh, land technology and, and the history of land technology and how it's developed up till this time period. So again, thank you for watching. Please like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. This is David signing out. You stay classy, Internet. <laughs>